Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician. Of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, wait. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Oh, are we talking... Daywalker in a file. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature. But it's gone along with all my nerves. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. And we shall dissuade them. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may, 
There are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. Maybe we should call this a probationary period. I still have not made up my mind, so do not get too comfortable. Then let me beg for your patience. I think you will find that I am a man of many talents. You are a vampire expert. I already have one of those. I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally, a freak of nature. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were... side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. 
And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. If this was a mistake, let me know. You will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you. Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am... uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Steven, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait. What should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Now that the Hydra vampires have my prototype sample, I've no doubt they'll attempt to create their own sunlight serum. Mass produce it, more like. But where would Hydra vampires go to mass produce sunlight serum? 
somewhere familiar to them. How about a Hydra facility that makes the gamma goop they put in their blood? Yes, I'm going to go with exactly like that. How about one sending a distress signal about a vampire invasion? Might be a good place to start. Has Hydra turned upon itself? No. This is biology. It is a vampire's nature to betray the living. Excuse me? Oh, but not mine. I differ on a biological level. Relax. It was a joke. Behind this. Hold them off. We need more time. Go. Feed upon them. Let their veins bleed rivers. Prototype sample? Indeed. And now to destroy the sunlight serum. But it's not all here, is it? Of course not. We manufactured so much. All transported off-site before you even arrived. This is the final batch. A reserve. <laughs> I am a wolf in the night. <laughs> the yapping of a mangy cur does not concern me. Tell me where you brought the serum. Watch that temper, little mutt. You don't want to lash out and bite the ones you love. Tell me! Where else, you pathetic counterfeit? I delivered it to the Lord of Vampires. You don't know what you've done. Oh, but I do. <laughs> Dracula, my master, has enough sunlight serum to supply an army. And there's nothing you can do to stop him. <laughs> I came out here to be alone, Hunter. Are you sure being alone is a good idea right now? Blade sent you to check on me, didn't he? <laughs> Probably didn't want to come himself because he thought we'd just end up fighting. Is he wrong? Of course not. And I can't promise we won't end up trading blows before the night is through either. I do not wish to fight you. I came because I am worried about a fellow teammate. That is... too kind. I do not deserve your mercy. That is what makes it mercy. They stole my work, Hunter. They... they perverted it for their own designs. There is an army of vampires ready to cut loose on the world, and they are all immune to sunlight. I did that. Not Dracula. You could not have known that Dracula would get his hands on your sample. No. But I should have foreseen that he'd want it. That he would come for it. We will fix this. Together. You're right. Wallowing in self-pity will accomplish nothing. We must prepare to act. Oh, and... Hunter. I'm sorry. My behavior tonight was beyond the pale. I wish you had not seen me like this. 
Doctor, my mother turned against me and started building an army. I understand betrayal. You have no need to apologize. You are too kind. I really am glad you came. Instead of Blade. Well, I would love a few quiet moments to meditate on what we've said. Unless you need something else. Enjoy the quiet. I'll just be here. Brooding. How did it go with Morbius? Is he slipping? Relax, Blade. That man is a walking bomb. Maybe the fuse isn't lit, but I don't want to be caught holding him when he explodes. Morbius is trying to be a good man. I want to support him. I know I'm the one who said he'd be useful, but we can't be careless about this. I'm surprised, Blade. You and Morbius are not that different. I thought you knew the darkness with which he wrestles. I thought you would empathize with him. I do know that darkness. That's why I'm worried. Morbius can't kill the monster inside. He can only continue to build a cage around it. He didn't ask for this curse, and he wouldn't wish it on anyone. Are you still talking about Morbius? Just watch your back, Hunter. Hunter, I heard that you went to talk to Morbius. If it helps, I know of an infused herbal tea renowned for its calming effects. I do not think that'll be necessary, Stephen. I must admit, Morbius is an anomaly. He's no longer human, but he isn't like other vampires. He struggles to find the place he belongs. We're all on a journey to find belonging. In that sense, Morbius is not alone. Very perceptive, Hunter. Though I wonder if Morbius would find it comforting. It sounds like you care about Morbius. I recognize something inside of him. Our ambitions are similar. We were both obsessed with our work, with our goals. That drive eventually led to his downfall, as did mine. Yet you were both very different men. Ah, but the need for spiritual recuperation affects us both. Do not be surprised that Morbius loses control. That is his crucible. He must overcome it to make peace with himself. Getting word of another attack. Vampires in Central Park. Right before dawn. Can you imagine? Dawn? I knew this was coming. Just not so soon. The city is in enough chaos. We'll handle it. No problem. Ah, Blade. Ever the optimist, hmm?
they do not fear the sun. I'll give them something to fear. No. Allow me! Lost children, you disappoint us. Betray us. Shed the blood of your own. No one hurts you more than family. Join us in the light. We won't ask again. Hmm. You won't. But not for the reason you think. I don't understand. Why aren't you? To mass produce the serum, you diluted my sample. Yes, it protected you from the sunlight, but each use of your powers burned more of it away. You are, as they say, running on fumes. And when those expire, so do you. This isn't over. It is, for now. Unless you'd care to stay for a walk in the park. to the sewer, where he belongs. Are you disappointed we didn't destroy him? Nah, he always comes back. But knowing he's got to live with that humiliation almost makes it worth knowing you. Congratulations, Hunter. Dracula's vampires suffered a major loss today. You deserve the credit, Doctor. You did good work today. The sunlight serum is so diluted it no longer poses a threat. The vampires have been cast back into the night where they belong. I don't think I can properly express my relief. Hunter, if you had not been there to lean on throughout all this, I do not know how I would have survived. This plague of vampires put stress on the whole team. We supported each other. You are too kind. I'm glad I found such a welcoming family of heroes. And about that. Hunter, you should know that I will remain committed to the Midnight Sun's greater mission. You all helped me in my time of need. It is only fair that I return the favor. Your support is much appreciated. Marvelous. But before we move on, we must make one final decision regarding the Sunlight Serum. We? Well, yes. I value your guidance. My prototype sample is no more, but I still possess my research notes. I could continue my experiments in the hopes of curing myself and maybe others, unless the risk of it falling into the wrong hands seems too great. If a cure is possible, you should continue to look for it. If someone tries to exploit your research again, we will be here to stop them. I was hoping you would feel that way. I can't wait to get back to work. After this business with Lilith is settled, of course. Thank you for your help, Hunter. <laughs>